so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Blippi! here at Sun Buggy Fun Rentals in Las Vegas, Nevada. And I am so excited because we get to learn all about different kinds of vehicles <laughs> that go really, really fast. And if we're lucky, maybe we can even drive one. <laughs> Come on, let's go explore. This place. What's Hi. up, Blippi? Hi, what's your name? I'm Matt. Nice to meet you. Oh, it's nice to meet you. Whoa! And what is this vehicle you're working on? Right here we have a dune buggy. Whoa, a dune buggy? Well, why do you call it that? We actually specifically designed these machines for the dunes, for hills, bumps, and jumps. <laughs> Whoa, I love hills, bumps, and jumps. <laughs> this vehicle is awesome. Whoa, and check it out. It has a really big wheel and tire. <laughs> yeah. And you see, this tire has lots of really big treads to grab the sand and the dirt so it can go really fast up those hills, bumps, and jumps. <laughs> and also has shocks. <laughs> Whoa! Hey, and check it out. It's also my favorite color. One of my two favorite colors. Orange! <laughs> uh, but Matt, this looks a little different from a regular car. I can see through it. <laughs> we actually make it like that so the roll cage keeps you safe and you have fun. Whoa, that's always good. Be safe when you're having fun. <laughs> Whoa, and look at this. It's the engine. Whoa, <laughs> it's so big. Looks like this dune buggy can go really fast. <laughs> These dune buggies can go 35 miles an hour in the sand. Whoa, 35 miles per hour in the sand. <laughs> that's really fast. <laughs> well, I really wish I could ride one of these dune buggies. <laughs> well, do you want to go out to the desert and try one? Would I? That would be awesome! <laughs> <laughs> wow! Look at this place! It's so big! <laughs> and really sandy and sunny. <laughs> Matt, where are we? We're in the Mojave Desert. Whoa! The Mojave Desert? Awesome! It sure is sandy here. And it looks like there are lots of hilly sand and Looks like sand everywhere, really. <laughs> yeah, those hills are sand dunes. Oh, sand dunes? Did someone make them? Nope, just nature, wind and sand. Oh, that's so cool. Wait a minute, sand dune, dune buggy? Do we get to ride on the sand dunes? Just you today. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, I am so excited to ride on a sand dune and drive a dune buggy. <laughs> Whoa! Check it out! Look at all these vehicles! <laughs> hey, I know this one. It's a dune buggy. Mm, but Matt, what are th what's this vehicle over here? This one over here? Yeah. This is a UTV, a utility vehicle. Whoa, a UTV! Awesome! It looks kind of like a dune buggy. It has four wheels. One, two, three, Four, but you can't see through it. <laughs> and it looks a little bit different. It also has uh, one of these. What's it has a called? roll cage, just like the dune buggy. Oh, cool. A roll cage, so it's nice and safe. <laughs> uh, but Matt, what's this back here? Is this, this a is, trunk? <laughs> this is a bed like a truck. Whoa, that's really handy. So I guess if you're on a farm and you need to put tools in it, yeah. you have a trunk. So Ooh, yeah. That's pretty cool. Oh, hey, and check it out. There's another vehicle over here. <laughs> Whoa. This one is our ATV. This is an all-terrain vehicle. ATV, all-terrain vehicle. <laughs> awesome. Whoa, it's a little bit smaller than the other two, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it looks super fast <laughs> and has four wheels, but Matt, it doesn't have a steering wheel. No steering wheel? These are called handlebars. Whoa, just like a motorcycle or a bicycle? <laughs> This looks pretty fun, but I want to ride the dune buggy over the dunes. <laughs> I'm also really excited to ride it because it's one of my two favorite colors, orange. <laughs> okay, Matt, I think I'm all ready to start driving, but 
What's the first thing I need to know before I drive the dune buggy? The first rule for driving dune buggies is always safety. Safety first. <laughs> okay, I wanna be really safe, so what's the first safety thing I need to know? So we're gonna get you inside of the dune buggy and we're gonna put your seat belts on first. Okay, seat belt first. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is get your seat belt on. Awesome. Here we go. And this buckle here is gonna connect your two seat belts. <laughs> Whoa. Here we go. All strapped in. So what's the next thing I need? Next, and this dune buggy is gonna be your hand straps. These okay. keep your hands inside of the ride at all times. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Great. Okay. And, uh, but how do I drive the dune buggy? So this dune buggy is automatic, just like a car. Ooh, uh, so where do I put the key? <laughs> no key today. <laughs> you just have a switch and a button. Okay. So when you're ready to go, switch goes up, you hit that button, and you're good to go. <laughs> okay, I'm all ready to go. <laughs> First, let's get your helmet, okay? Okay, we'll put on the helmet. <laughs> Woohoo! Okay, helmet on. All right, now, make sure your helmet is strapped tight. Pull the strap through the loop. Perfect. Ooh. And goggles! <laughs> okay. We want to put on our goggles so we don't have any sand in our eyes. <laughs> it looks like I'm all ready to go. All right, have fun, Blippi. Woohoo! See you soon. You did great! Yeah! <laughs> you wanna try the ATV now? Yeah! Come on! Let's, Let's try go. it out! All right, so this one, a little easier than the dune buggy to start. So you have your key on the right side there. Go ahead and turn your key for me. Okay. Key's on. All right, so now, with that thumb, press that button there for me. This one right here? Yep. Okay. And where's the gas pedal? So, where your thumb is, that's your gas pedal. Okay, here we go. You did great. <laughs> that was so much fun. Well, we rode the dune buggy and the ATV. You want to try the UTV? <laughs> yeah. All right, don't forget your seatbelt, just like your car. Here we go. And this one is like the ATV. Turn your key to the right, and it'll go ahead and start. OK. Have fun. Here we go. Bye-bye. <laughs> Do you hear that? Do you
you know what kind of vehicle makes that sound? <laughs> yeah! A truck or a car! Hey! For this next song, let's dance like we're driving a car! Hit the gas! Hit the gas! Hit the brake! Hit the brake! Hear the engine! Hear the engine! Do a figure eight! Do a figure eight! Take the wheel! Well, you can tell when your car needs to go fast You wanna put your foot down and hit the gas If there's something ahead and you need to make A sudden stop, then hit the brake It's alright, and it's okay Make sure that you look both ways With your hand at nine and your hand at one Let's go for a drive, let's have some fun Hit the gas Hit the gas Hit the brake Hit the brake Hear the engine Figure eight. Do a figure eight. Take the wheel. Take the wheel. Hold it tight. Hold it tight. Flippy buggy. Flippy buggy. All day and night. All day and night. Now you can see from the mirrors on my car. From behind, I can see very far. This is important if I need to break, or especially when I overtake. It's all right, and it's okay. We take it at our own pace. One hand at ten, the other at two. Go for a ride, you know what to do. Hit the gas. Hit the gas. Hit the brake. Hit the brake. Hear the engine. Hear the engine. Do a figure eight. Do a figure eight. Take the wheel. Take the wheel. Hold it tight. some good driving. <laughs> wow! That was awesome! I had so much fun with you here at Sun Buggies in Las Vegas, Nevada. And we learned so much together. We learned all about ATVs, UTVs and dune buggies. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, will you spell my name with me? Okay, B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -I. Lippy, good job. Well, I'll see you soon. Let's ride. <laughs> It's me, Blippi, and today we're going on a nature walk in a beautiful park. <laughs> and I brought my camera. <laughs> my camera has my two favorite colors, orange and blue. <laughs> hey, why don't you and I take pictures of all the amazing things we see on our nature walk? Hmm, what do you think we'll see? Maybe some bugs? <laughs> or some animals, <laughs> and I bet we'll see some plants. Keep your eyes open, and we can take lots of pictures to add to my picture album. <laughs> okay, keep your eyes open. Come on. There are so many amazing things here. Whoa, I think I see another animal. <laughs> it was a squirrel. Do you see the squirrel? Hmm, they're very fast and very tiny. Keep your eyes open. Hmm. Oh, maybe the squirrel ran up in a tree <laughs> where it has all of its 
acorns. <laughs> so silly. Mm. Well, keep your eyes open for it. Where'd you go, little buddy? <laughs> wow, it's a dinosaur. So cool. Looks like you're having a delicious lunch of leaves. Yum. Okay. See you later. <laughs> Dinosaurs are so amazing. I wonder if he's still here. <laughs> Let's see. I'll take a picture with my camera. Hmm. What's this? Human feet? That's park ranger feet, to be exact. Park rangers? Hi, I'm Blippi. <laughs> Pleased to meet you, Blippi. I'm park ranger Orson. This is park ranger Asher, park ranger Wyatt. <laughs> Hi, um, why were you hiding? Well, it was the strangest thing. I was just on a nature walk, taking pictures, <laughs> and then I saw the biggest, most giant-tastic, bigger than an excavator, dinosaur. <laughs> yeah, you get used to it. But it's always awesome. <laughs> um, where am I? Well, we're in T-Rex Ranch, a very special place with lots of dinosaurs inside. And it's our job as park rangers to keep them safe. T-Rex Ranch? That is awesome! I can't wait to see even more dinosaurs. They can be so big! <laughs> yeah, when they're babies, they're pretty small, but not too small. <laughs> I can't wait to see a baby dinosaur. I bet they're so cute. <laughs> well, you can see for yourself. We got four babies back at Dino HQ. And like any proud dad, I've got pictures. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I'm seeing real baby dinosaurs. <laughs> that's our baby Triceratops. <laughs> and that's our baby T-Rex. And that's our baby Para... Para... Perseralophus. Oh. <laughs> you guys are good at that name. Why, thank you. And finally, that's our baby Brachiosaurus. Ah. <laughs> hey, Blippi, do you want to see more big dinos around T-Rex Ranch? <laughs> Can we take the T-Rex one? Yeah, can we? Mm, sure, why not? <laughs> Come on. Hmm. What's the T-Rex one? <laughs> Whoa! So this is the T-Rex one? Yep, it's a UTV, utility task vehicle. <laughs> This allows us to transport personnel and cargo all throughout T-Rex Ranch. Whoa, it is so cool. <laughs> Can we hop inside? Of course. OK. <laughs> Don't forget to buckle up, Puppy. <laughs> OK. Yeah, these parts can get a little bumpy. Actually, a lot bumpy. Are you ready? All right. Whoa. <laughs> so excited! Here we go! Woo! <laughs> Whoa! A dino with a really long neck. Hey, wait! He looks familiar. That's the big guy I saw from earlier. That's a Brachiosaurus. But don't worry, he's friendly. And he's an herbivore, which means he only eats vegetables. <laughs> I love vegetables. A real Brachiosaurus. So cool. Hello, Mr. Brachiosaurus. Oh, and I believe one of our pteranodons has come to say hello. <laughs> I thought only birds could fly. Birds are related to dinosaurs. Wow, I'm learning so much today. <laughs> We're just getting started. Dinosaurs, 
There's another plant over. <gasps> oh, <laughs> it's so silly. I like you, Stegosaurus. You're my new friend. <laughs> Can we see some other dinosaurs? Yeah, what about the big guy? Yeah, the big guy. <laughs> All right, but only if we stay inside the T-Rex one. <laughs> I don't know who this big guy is, but I sure am excited to find out! <laughs> Dinosaurs are so amazing! They come in all different shapes and sizes. Do you have a favorite dinosaur? <laughs> yeah, I like that one too. This is where some of our biggest, most ferocious dinosaurs live. If you look carefully, sometimes you can see them walking through the trees. Maybe they're sleeping today? Whoa! What was that? Tyrannosaurus Rex. Favorite dinosaurs. And that's a raptor. They're small, but fast. Is it okay that we're this close? Yeah, yeah, we should be fine as long as we don't upset them. Okay, say cheese. I think we just upset them. understand what dinosaurs are saying. Yes, Park Ranger Asher? Alexa, translate Dino Wars. Translating. Photo, photo. Sounds to me like the T-Rex and Raptor want to see the photo you took of them, Blippi. <laughs> oh, okay. Here you go. <laughs> We all buckled up and ready? Yeah. Let's go. Wow, that was great. Thanks for showing me around T-Rex Ranch. <laughs> Our pleasure, Blippi. <laughs> yeah, it was fun to meet you. Ooh, yeah, and there's still one picture I'd like to add to my photo collection. One of me and my new friends, the T-Rex Ranch Parker Rangers. <laughs> okay. Say cheese! <laughs> yeah! I had such a fun day today here at T-Rex Ranch. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, can you spell my name with me? <laughs> okay, here we go. B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Philippi, good job. Well, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye! <laughs> Me, Flippy. Wow, what an amazing day it is. It's so sunny. But hey, I don't know what I should do today. <gasps> I have an idea. <laughs> oh, look at this. Yeah, the Blippy Mobile. Wow, I sure have a lot of fun exploring with my Blippy Mobile, don't I? <laughs> Wait a second. I have something fun for you. <laughs> Ready? Three, two, one! Whoa! Cool! The Blippi Mobile! Wow, I love my Blippi Mobile! Isn't it great? Yeah! I have an idea. Why don't you and I take the Blippi Mobile for a spin and explore? Yeah! I sure do love my Blippi Mobile 
Hey, you want to see some of the parts? Whoa! All right, let me hop out. Whoa! First of all, check out these wheels and tires. Aren't they massive tires? Yeah, there's no tread on them, but that doesn't stop me from going off-road. Woohoo! And look at my wheels. Yeah, they're the color orange. One of my two favorite colors. Yeah. Do you know what my other favorite color is? Yeah, blue. Whoa. Yeah, that's why it's blue and orange. Ooh, and look at this. Yeah, this is the Blippi Mobile's windshield. Yeah, just like how you might have a windshield on your vehicle at home. Yeah, I do as well. It keeps from all the bugs from getting in my face <laughs> while I'm going super fast. <laughs> all right. Whoa. And speaking of going super fast, every time I'm driving the Blippi Mobile, I make sure I buckle up. First things first, safety first. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Have you seen that my Blippi Mobile has attachments? Yeah! Ooh, like a rocket booster! Whoa! So cool! It allows me to go places anywhere and everywhere! Whoa! And look at those! Wow! Spider legs! Whoa! <laughs> yeah! It makes me able to crawl and go around go on top of rocks, go around things. Whoa! And look at those! Yeah! Wings! Whoa! They look like beautiful butterfly wings, don't they? Whoa! So then I can fly when I'm using the Blippi Mobile. Whoa! Well, I do love my Blippi Mobile. Well, shall we keep exploring? Let's go! Did you see this drawing of the Blippi Mobile? Yeah! You saw the two wheels and tires on this side, and the other side has wheels and tires for four total. Ooh, and the big bubble, the windshield. Ooh, and the blue and orange stripes on the back. Whoa! Hey, I have an idea. Why don't you and I paint the Blippi Mobile? I sure do love crafts. <laughs> All right, let's see here. If we open this one up, ah, there we go. Yeah, <laughs> there's some black in here. I know the can is orange, but there's black paint in here. So let's uh, give it a little swirl. And what is black on the Blippi Mobile? Do you see anything? Yeah, the big off-road tires. Yeah, all right, here we go. Oh, <laughs> it's gonna get messy. All right, there we go. Ooh, cool. <laughs> there we go. Wow! <laughs> Good job. Those are some big tires. <laughs> All right, let's see, what do we have here? Oh, yeah. Musical instruments. <laughs> Just kidding, yeah, spray paint. All right, hey, before I use any spray paint, I'm gonna wear a respirator. Yeah, a mask. All right, here we go. Yeah, and only adults should use spray paint. Okay, here we go. Let's start with the orange. Here we go. Let's see, what part is orange? Looks like a little bit of the chairs are orange. Yeah, and the two stripes. Okay, here we go. There we go, there's my chair. <laughs> All right, and then that stripe and that stripe. Oh, this is looking really good. Okay, all we need now, oh, wait a second. Yeah, you're right. 
the wheels are also orange. <laughs> Can't put the orange away now. Whoa, this is looking really great. Good job. Okay, let's put this one away. All right, and now for some blue. <laughs> All right, let's see what's blue on it. Well, the rest of it's blue. I'm not gonna color this though. Yeah, because that is the windshield. All right, I'll start with the bottom right down here. Just a little bit left. Whoa! Wow! <laughs> Whoa! We did such a great job! The Blippi Mobile looks amazing! I sure do love crafts and art! Look at this house. Whoa, it's really white. And you know what it looks like? It looks like the White House. Yeah, the White House is where the President of the United States lives. Whoa, what a cool looking house. I sure do love exploring with you. Shall we keep exploring? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Woohoo! Whoa, check it out. Yeah, the party station. Wow, this store is a place where you can buy party supplies. Yeah, like balloons. Whoa, streamers. <laughs> Confetti. Whoa, you also might be able to get a cake in there. Yum, I love cake. And party invitations. So you can invite all your friends. Yeah, cool store. All right, here we go. Oh, what else do we have around here? Oh, look! Yeah! <laughs> we know what this place is. Yeah, it says Adventure City. Yeah, I've been there before. That is a very fun amusement park in California. Yeah, they have some roller coasters, slides, yeah, and even some games. Woohoo! <laughs> here we go! been so much fun exploring with the Blippi Mobile? Yeah, it sure has been. Me, me, me. <laughs> Do you see that? Whoa, it looks like a train. Why don't we park the Blippi Mobile right here? Yeah, come back later. But in the meantime, take a ride on a train. Yeah. <laughs> I sure do love trains. Wow, it was great being able to sightsee. Oh yeah, speaking of sightseeing, yeah, the Blippi Mobile. Let me hop back in so then we can keep exploring. <laughs> Gotta buckle up. <laughs> All right, here we go. Woohoo! <laughs>
What are these? Yeah, I know what these are. These are safety cones. Whoa, and I love the color. Orange. Whoa, one of my two favorite colors. Whoa, safety cones are used, yeah, to place on the ground like that to let people know that there's something around here. Yeah, just so you don't hit it. Or you could also place a few of them. <laughs> yeah, like that. And then you can make an obstacle course. Check it out. <laughs> yeah, you can weave between them. Hey, I have an idea. Yeah, why don't we place all of these cones out in a straight line and weave with the Blippi Mobile between them. Yeah, hey, let's count them first. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six cones. All right, let's gather them up. Yeah, all right, let's place the first cone right here. Oh, I have an idea. Will you count them with me? <laughs> One. Two, <laughs> three, four, five, six. Six cones. Good job counting with me. All right. First, you need to buckle up. All right. Here we go. Ready? Three, two, one. Whoa! Yeah! Whoa, we got it! Oh no! Whoa, barely! Oh no! We missed it! Whoa! Watch out, cone! Oh no! Whoa! Did you see that? Yeah! We got some of them, but we didn't get all of them. Hey, I have an idea. Why don't we head back to the starting line and then space them out a little bit more and maybe that will help. Let's try it again. <laughs> Whoa. Let's try this again. Three, two, one, go! Yeah! Woohoo! Whoa! We're doing it! Oh! Whoa! This is a close one! awesome? Yeah! I sure did have a lot of fun learning with you today. Yeah, wasn't it fun going through that obstacle course, swerving between those cones? Yeah, and exploring and learning about the Blippi Mobile. Wow! Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> B-L-I P-P-I Flippy. Good job. See you soon. Bye-bye. Hello, friends. It's me, Flippy. And today, we're exploring construction vehicles. Let's see. Can you guess which vehicle this is? Let's go find out. Hey, it's me, Flippy. Wow, and look at where I'm at. Yeah, today, I'm at Tenino, Washington at a job site. Yeah, and today, you and I get to learn about a machine. 
Yeah, really heavy machine. It has a really big blade up front, pushes anything and everything out of its way. It has a lot of power. It's a little slow though. And it starts with the letter B, just like my name. <laughs> Do you know what machine it is? Okay, let's go find out. Woohoo! <laughs> Check it out. Wow, a piece of construction equipment. And this is a powerful piece of construction equipment. Do you know what machine this is? Yeah, this is a bulldozer. Wow, it is so powerful. Here, come on. Whoa, this is the blade of the bulldozer. Yeah, the blade pushes anything and everything out of its way. And then it goes flat on the ground and then makes the ground nice and flat. Whoa! Whoa! And how it gets all of its power is right here. Yeah! The engine! And this is the engine compartment. Yeah! It produces a lot of power and a lot of smoke out of the exhaust. Whoa! Super cool. Hey, do you see these? Huh. This is silly. <laughs> yeah, there's no wheels and tires. That's silly, huh? Oh, these are called tracks. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, these metal things go down into the dirt, the gravel, the mud, so then it has really good traction, so then it doesn't slip and slide. <laughs> All right, I think I should take it for a spin. Woohoo! Whoa, so comfortable. All right. First things first, safety first. Perfect. Now that I'm nice and safe with my seat belt, we can operate the bulldozer. Yeah, you operate a bulldozer. You do not drive a bulldozer. <laughs> okay, see these hand controls? This is how you operate the bulldozer. This one makes you go forward and backward, and this one, yeah. This is what you use to control the blade. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's turn on the key. Woohoo! All right, flip up the safety doodads, and here we go. Whoa, check it out! Whoa! Woohoo! All right. Whoa! <laughs> was fun. <laughs> that was awesome. Wow, what a powerful machine. Did you see that big blade up front? Yeah, it's so good and powerful. It pushes anything and everything out of its way. Our first vehicle was a bulldozer. They are such an important piece of equipment and help clear the way. Hmm, can you guess what this next vehicle is? Let's go check it out. Let me give you some hints on what piece of machinery we're gonna learn about. Okay, it's a machine that loves to dig. Yeah, it typically has tracks, yeah, has an arm and a boom and a bucket, digs big holes, and it starts with the letter E. <laughs> uh, can you guess it? 
Okay, here we go. Excavator? Yeah, I was driving and holding this giant log. Wait, did you hear that? Yeah, an excavator. Wow, what a cool machine. This is actually a mini excavator. Yeah, they have small ones like this, and they have big ones like that. Wow. Hey, did you see I was sitting in the seat? Yeah, this is the cab of the excavator. Wow, there's so many controls in there. Oh, so cool. Hey, and look down here. Wow. Yeah, just like a bulldozer, this excavator has tracks. But a bulldozer's tracks are metal. And these, yeah, they're rubber, like tires. Wow, that is really cool. The cab can swing around. Yeah, did you see me swing around? Whoa, so cool. Oh, and up here, wow. It's hard to see because the bucket is right here. But this is the blade. Just like a bulldozer, this excavator has a blade to flatten things out and push things out of its way. And where this log is sitting, yeah, this is the bucket of the excavator. Wow, this bucket has some big teeth. Yeah! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa, look at this. This kind of looks like a big tooth but this is actually called a thumb. Wow, the thumb is used to grab things, just like this log. Whoa, and all this, this is the arm and the boom, which then can lift up, swing around, and use the bucket to dig. Yeah, I think I should hop on in and do some digging. Woohoo! I'm an excavator, excavator, hey dirt, see you later, I'm an excavator, I've got a great big arm and a great big boom, if I start digging now I'll be done real soon, I'm a dirt separator.
this hole is that I just dug. Wow, so cool. Hey, and look at this big pile of dirt. Wow, I love dirt. Yeah, because it's fun to play around in and it's the per perfect home for some plants. Woohoo! Here we go. Here you go, plants. Woohoo! <laughs> wow, excavators are awesome. Yeah! Wasn't that excavator so cool? I love getting to dig things up, and an excavator makes it so easy and fun. Whoa! That sure was fun learning about that excavator today, wasn't it? Yeah! You can dig some massive holes with the excavator. And since it doesn't have wheels and tires, it has tracks. Yeah, you never get stuck. Yeah! Well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I, Blippi. Good job. See you again. Bye-bye. Hey, it's me, Blippi. And look at what's behind me. Whoa! This is a snowmobile. And this snowmobile belongs to my friends, Magnus and Hans. <laughs> and today, you and I are gonna learn about snowmobiles. Yeah! Got to ask you, what colors do you see on the snowmobile? Yeah, I see the color red, black, white, and hey, look down here. There's some silver. <laughs> hey, come back here. Wow, look at this tree. What color is this tree? Looks like icy green and brown. And what else? Yeah, the snow is white. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I love playing in the snow, <laughs> but it's so cold. <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah! Yeah! This snowmobile is so powerful. Do you know how the snowmobile gets all of its power? Yeah, the engine. Whoa, check that out. Looks like we have, oh, this looks like maybe the engine oil. Whoa, that's what helps cool the engine. Um, let's see. Ooh, looks like the flywheel, some gears. Oh. And look at this. This is a front shock. Yeah, this is part of the suspension of the snowmobile. Whoa, and look down here. This snowmobile has two skis. One right here and one over there. Whoa, that is what's on the front to help steer the snowmobile. Come on up to the other side. Whoa, the 
other engine compartment. Whoa! Looks like we have the exhaust in there. You definitely don't want to touch that. That is really hot. Oh, and we have the intake. And we have the engine way down in there. Whoa, this engine is so compact with so much power. All in the front of the snowmobile. Come to the back, check this out. Wow, this is the track of the snowmobile. You see these big things poking up? Wow, that helps it grip into the snow so it doesn't slip and slide. Yeah, that's kind of like the tread on a wheel and tire. But this snowmobile does not have a wheel or a tire. <laughs> oh, come check this out. All right, this is the dash of the snowmobile right here. This is where it tells you how fast you're going, your engine temperature. Oh, and look at right here. Yeah, the key. Yeah, you know what that does. When you have that in, then you turn it, and that is how you start the snowmobile. But it's not like a car where you just start it with a key. You have to pull this. Check this out. Yeah! Here, come here. So for safety, we have the brake. And not for safety, we have the throttle. Here we go. has been so much fun riding this snowmobile. Oh geez, I sure do love the seasons, don't you? Yeah, it's so cool how you can do fun things during the spring and the summer and the fall and the winter. Yeah, let's go. Look at what we found! Yeah, we found a river! Whoa! This has been so much fun exploring with the snowmobiles and finding this river. Hey, do you know what animals live in this river? Yeah, probably some fish! Whoa! I definitely don't want to be a fish right now and swim in that water. That water looks so cold! <laughs> Check out this yellow vehicle! Whoa! Do you see something unique about it? Yeah, check this out! Just like how the snowmobile has tracks, yeah, it doesn't have wheels and tires. Yeah, the Jeep also has tracks! It doesn't have wheels and tires as well, just like the snowmobile. <laughs> Woo 
snowmobiling at Leavenworth Snowmobile Tours at the Mountain Springs Lodge in Blaine, Washington. <laughs> do you like snowmobiling? Yeah, I do too. Well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Blippi. Good job. Bye-bye. It's me, Blippi, and today we're here at the San Diego Zoo Safari Park in Escondido, California. <laughs> yeah! Hey, do you know what a safari is? <laughs> yeah, it's an outdoor adventure where you can see all kinds of amazing animals. <laughs> and today is a really special day because we're going to search for a platypus. Yeah! This is the only place that you can see a platypus outside of Australia. <sighs> I am so excited. Come on. <laughs> Whoa! I am so excited to go on a wildlife safari. <gasps> and we get to ride in this amazing vehicle. It's called a caravan. <laughs> <gasps> Look at it. It has really big tires and wheels and shocks. <laughs> yeah, that's so if we hit any bumps or holes in the ground, we'll be nice and smooth riding in the back. <laughs> oh, and it's Karen, the driver. Hi, Karen. <laughs> Whoa, look, there are so many amazing things on a caravan. We have gas tanks and <laughs> a barrel for water. Whoa. And look at this. It's the back of the caravan. <laughs> yeah, this, this right here, that's where we're gonna sit. So let's go sit inside. <laughs> oh, it's a person. Let's go say hi. Hi. Hi, Blippi. It's me, Blippi. <laughs> um, what's your name? Oh, my name's Marco. I'm a wildlife care specialist here at the safari park. Oh, it's nice to meet you, Marco. Well. We are really excited to go on a safari. All right. Can you sit inside? Yeah, definitely. Let's go. <laughs> Let's follow Marco. <laughs> Whoa, look at this place. There is a canopy over our heads. Yeah. So keep us dry and away from the sun. And <laughs> so many seats. Woo. <laughs> We're ready for a safari. All right, we're almost there. Actually, all you need is special safari gear. And look, we got some for you right here. Oh, look at that. Oh. Special safari gear. Whoa, safari gear is so much fun. <laughs> look, we have binoculars. Oh, we're seeing really far away. Woo. <laughs> and uh, we have a hat to keep the sun out of our eyes. <laughs> and don't forget to drink lots of water. <laughs> okay, it looks like we're all geared up and ready for the safari. <laughs> all right, excellent, you look great. All right, Karen, we're ready to go. <laughs> this is gonna be so much fun. <laughs> Do <laughs> you see what kind of animal this is? <laughs> oh, they are giraffes. <laughs> and they are so cute. <laughs> oh, it is so much fun being on a safari. <laughs> hmm. Do you see that one giraffe? Look, it's really small. Huh. Hmm. Marco, why is that one giraffe so much smaller than the others? You know, that giraffe, Lippy, is actually one of our newest babies. She's 16 days old. Whoa, it really is a baby. <laughs> How tall is the giraffe? 
Oh, well, you know, they can grow throughout their lifetime, actually. So she is about six feet at the moment, but she's gonna keep growing. This is the tallest mammal on planet Earth. Whoa! <laughs> this baby giraffe is a baby, but it's as tall as me? <laughs> That's pretty amazing. <laughs> wow, they're so, so pretty and so tall. <laughs> hey, it looks like they have these little things on their head. <laughs> it looks like hair or little horns. What are those? Yeah, actually, they're called ossicones, actually. Ossicones? Whoa, <laughs> that's a really cool word. What's an ossicone? Well, think of it sort of like, like horns for a giraffe, basically. Oh, wow. Those ossicones are pretty cool. <laughs> oh, they're so cool. Do you see what colors they are? Yeah, it looks like they're a golden brown and white. <laughs> yeah, they have a really interesting pattern all over them. <laughs> oh, hmm. hmm. It also looks like they have big ears. Can giraffes hear really well? They do, they hear very, very well, and eyesight's pretty amazing too. You know, there's other predators out there where they mm -hmm. live, so they gotta watch out. Whoa, <laughs> that is so cool. They can hear really well and see all over the safari. Oh, <laughs> I think giraffes are so amazing. <laughs> oh, hello, giraffe. <laughs> oh, look, that giraffe, he's looking at us. I think he's just checking us out. Oh, he's saying, hi, Blippi. <laughs> hi. <laughs> oh, they also have funny looking mouths. What kind of food does a giraffe eat? You know, they love leaves, plant material, especially having such a long neck, eating all the plants at the very tops of the trees. Oh, huh, that makes sense. Yeah, giraffes are really tall with really long necks, so they can eat the tops of trees. <laughs> wow, giraffes sure are pretty amazing. Hmm, but they're not a platypus. Hmm, let's keep looking for some other amazing animals Maybe we'll find a platypus. <laughs> you won't believe what really cool animal Marco and I found on our safari. Come look. Whoa, <laughs> look at him. What kind of animal is this? Oh, these are called fringe-eared oryx. Whoa, fringe-eared oryx. Never heard of an animal like that before. Whoa, do you see? They have really big horns on their head. Kind of like a unicorn, but instead of one horn, they have one, two horns. <laughs> wow, they're amazing. Oh, whoa, and look. They have kind of funny markings on their face. They do. Yeah, right now, we think that's actually to help them ward off predators out there. It's almost like having a permanent Halloween mask. Whoa, <laughs> sounds spooky. Ooh. <laughs> wow, Ooh, they're so cool. And they're, they're pretty big. Can, can these oryx run fast? Oh, they can run very fast. I mean, they <laughs> need to to get away from predators. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow, just a family of oryx. <laughs> And do you see? Their ears are so funny. They have dots in the middle of their ears. Whoa, <laughs> it looks like an eye. <laughs> That's a really good observation. That's what we think they have them for, to help confuse predators out there so they can't sneak up and surprise them. Whoa, these orcs look really smart. That is so cool. Huh. Whoa, <laughs> they're just hanging out, being friendly. <laughs> well, it was nice to meet you. Hello. <laughs> These orcs were really interesting, but they're still not a platypus. <laughs> Let's keep looking. Blippi, come look at these guys. Oh, okay. Whoa, look at what animal Marco found. Whoa, <laughs> they're so big. <laughs> Marco, what kind of animal is this? You're looking at a southern white rhino. Wow, a southern white rhino. <laughs> you see, look, 
They have really big horns. Whoa. <laughs> Why does a rhino like this have a big horn? Yeah, those horns help them protect themselves out there in Africa against all those predators out there. Wow, it is so cool and so big. <laughs> Whoa, and look, look, they have really teeny tiny eyes, but they have really big noses. <laughs> Hmm. I bet that means they have a really good sense of smell. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're absolutely right, Pulky. That's a good observation. You know, these animals, excellent sense of smell, really, really good hearing as well. You see how those ears can move around all about so they can always hear what's going on around them. Wow, that is amazing. <laughs> Their ears are so fuzzy. Whoa, <laughs> look, you see all the little hairs and fuzzy parts? <laughs> Rhinos are so cute. Oh, and so hungry. Oh. Do they like to eat anything else other than hay? Oh, they love the all sorts of plant material. They love grass. And these guys can weigh three to 4,000 pounds, sometimes even more. So they gotta eat all that food. Whoa, three to 4,000 pounds? <laughs> That's a lot of hay. <laughs> hey, <laughs> wow. They sure do like eating. Yeah, and they are really big. <laughs> hey, do you know what color these rhinos are? Yeah. They're the color gray. <laughs> I bet they stay cool because is there dirt on their backs? That's absolutely right. Yeah, they love to wallow out there, get some mud on their backs, <laughs> helps with sunblock like that safari hat you were wearing. They don't oh. need the hat, they got their mud. Wow, it's so amazing. Yeah, they roll around in the dirt and they stay cool. Yeah, get dirt, dust on their back, kind of like my official safari hat. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Well, I think we should see some more animals, Marco. Yeah, I think you're right. These rhinos, they're not platypuses. Mm -mm. <laughs> Thanks, Marco, for taking us on an awesome safari. <laughs> yeah, no problem, let's go see some more animals. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Whew, looking for a platypus is hard work. I've been running so fast. Hey, do you know what other animal likes to run really fast? <laughs> yeah, a cheetah likes to run really fast. They are the fastest land animal and they can run up to 70 miles per hour. <laughs> and reach speeds of 40 miles per hour in three steps. Whoa. <laughs> hey, I have an idea. How about I race a cheetah? <laughs> yeah. Let's see who will win the race. <laughs> Whoa! Did you see how fast that cheetah was? <laughs> it was amazing. Well, better keep looking for this platypus. So excited to see this snake. What kind of snake is this? This is called a Burmese python. Whoa, this Burmese python is so big. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> what's its name? Uh, this is Julius Squeezer. Julius Squeezer, <laughs> so silly. That's a cool name. Oh, this snake is amazing. And look, it has this really pretty pattern with all types of different shades of brown and white and gold? <laughs> Why is it colored like this? Yeah, well, this helps him get his food up in the wild. So this is what we call a sit and wait predator. So that's exactly what he does. He sits, he blends in with all the leaf litter and just waits until something yummy walks by and then he got the snack for that day. Ooh. <laughs> wow, that is so cool. Hmm. Oh, Julia Squeezer. <laughs> How's it going? Hello. Whoa. Hey, it looks like he's looking at us now. <laughs> Whoa, he keeps poking his tongue out. Why is Julia Squeezer doing that? <laughs> you know, he's actually tasting the air. So he has an organ in his mouth called the Jacobson's organ, which helps him actually detect prey. So he can pick up set particles in the air to help follow his prey out there. Whoa, that is really amazing. <laughs> it sure would be silly if I was walking around with my tongue out. <laughs> I'm not a snake. <laughs> Whoa, but this snake is so cool. Hmm. Huh. 
What type of snake is this? A Burmese python. And you know, the differences between the python and the boa, sometimes people get them confused. Oh, yeah. yeah. Python and boa. Yeah. Whoa, what's the difference between a python and a boa? Well, that's a great question, but you know, pythons are generally found in the old world, so Asia, Africa, Australia, Ooh. plus they lay eggs. Now the boa can be found in the old world and the new world, but what boas do instead, they carry their eggs inside of them. So people tend to call it a live birth, but really, they're just keeping their eggs inside. <laughs> Whoa, hello. <laughs> wow, Julia Squeezer is so friendly. He keeps saying hello. <laughs> Wow, snakes are so amazing. They're so good at moving, even though they don't have any arms or legs. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> hello. <laughs> oh. I'd like to give you a hug, but I feel like they have a really powerful hugs. <laughs> they really do, yeah. This predator is a constrictor, so he mm -hmm. just holds his prey super, super tight. And that's a, that's a good thing you noted too, actually, Blippi. You know, these animals, uh, Julius, he's an ambassador. He represents his wild brothers and sisters, but we definitely want the kids out there to know you don't want to be handling a wild snake like this. We are trained professionals here at the safari park. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to be handling a snake like this without a professional wildlife care specialist. <laughs> like my good friend, Marco. Oh, <laughs> but he sure is beautiful. Wow, hello. <laughs> he likes my shoe quite a bit. He does. <laughs> What's a pretty nice shoe, I gotta say. <laughs> Whoa. Well, thanks so much for saying hello, Julia Squeezer. Bye bye <laughs> Hey, what other animals will we be able to see today? Oh, next we're gonna show you one of my favorite birds, the fastest animal on planet Earth. Oh, the fastest animal alive? Oh, I can't wait to see it. <laughs> okay, let's go see. Bye bye Wow, I am so excited to see the next animal ambassador. <laughs> we saw so many amazing animals. Uh, what animal are we gonna see next? Yo, one of my favorites, his name is Nelson, called the Lanner Falcon. Ooh, Nelson, and he's a falcon. <laughs> wow, does he fly in the air and he's, he, is he pretty fast? Oh, very fast. They broke the record fastest animal on the planet over 240 miles per hour. And today I'm gonna be sharing with you a hunting flight. Wow. I can't wait to see the hunting flight. 240 miles per hour, that's faster than a car. <laughs> okay, I think we're all ready to see the hunting flight. All right. Okay, keep your eyes open for Nelson. <laughs> this is so exciting. Whoa. Whoa, look, Marco is swinging around some meat. Okay. Nelson, good boy. Good. Good. Whoa, did you see that? Whoa. Nelson caught the meat midair. That's pretty amazing. Hey, let's go take a closer look. <laughs> I am so excited to see Nelson up close. Birds, they're pretty amazing. And this bird is so powerful and so fast. <laughs> Whoa, so beautiful. Well, right now we wanna wait because Nelson is finishing up his meal, <laughs> but we'll be able to see him real soon. <laughs> oh, look, yeah. He's on Marco's glove. Yeah, that glove helps to protect his hand because Nelson has really sharp, powerful talons. <laughs> Whoa, look, Marco's coming this way. We should go say hi. But we need to be careful. We don't want to scare Nelson. He's just finishing his food right now. Whoa. <laughs> we'll get him a little bit closer for you, but so that was just an example of the amazing hunting flight that they do out there. Oh. Wow. Nelson is a really amazing bird. Oh, he's so beautiful. <laughs> his eyes look so big. Can he see really well? They see so 
well. It can see over a mile away, especially when you're flying in the air. That's a really good tool to have. Wow, that is one amazing bird. <laughs> well, we better let Nelson finish his lunch. <laughs> hey, maybe we can see some more birds. Yeah, that sounds great, Bopi. I'll see you there. Okay, I'll see you soon. Oh, that was amazing. We saw so many different ambassador animals. And now we get to see even more birds. <laughs> let's go meet up with Marco. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Whoa. <sighs> We're still looking for a platypus. But <laughs> Nelson was such an amazing animal. I want to see what other birds Marco works with. <laughs> oh, hey, and there's Marco. Hi, Marco. <laughs> hey, Blippi. Marco, what other animals do you have to show us today? Uh, well, I want to show you more raptors, just like Nelson, but he hunts in a different way, which I'm going to show you right now. Okay, <laughs> I'm so excited. All right, here we go. Oh, I can't wait to see this bird. was amazing. Marco, what kind of animal was that? Oh, that was a secretary bird. So just like Nelson, the lander falcon, both found in Africa and both raptors, but they hunt in a very different way. So I'm so happy to share that with you. And not only that, he's a pretty big raptor, but raptors come in all different shapes and sizes. So we have another one we're gonna show you right now. Follow me this way. Okay. Whoa, I wonder what bird we'll see next. <laughs> that bird was so big. <laughs> come on. Hmm. Keep your eyes out for another bird. <laughs> oh, look at this. Hello. Hi. Whoa, that last bird was so big. But this looks like a really teeny tiny owl. It's so cute. <laughs> oh, what kind of owl is this? She is called an Eastern Screech Owl. Wow. This owl is so tiny. <laughs> Who would have thought? There are really big birds and really small birds. Whoa, her feathers are so amazing and beautiful. Hmm, do these feathers remind you of another animal we saw today? <laughs> yeah, just like the snake. Yeah, look, hmm. this little owl has camouflage feathers so she can blend in with the tree. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> What's this owl's name? Her name is Rue. Whoa. Hi, Rue. <laughs> You're so cute. Whoa. Her eyes are really big. <laughs> Why's that? Right? So she is a nocturnal predator. That means she hunts at night. So she's going to use those really big eyeballs to help her see really well at nighttime, help her catch her little prey item. Whoa. You remember that word? Yeah. Nocturnal. That means they're not awake in the day like us, but they're awake at night. <laughs> wow, Rue is so amazing. <laughs> yeah. Well, all the birds we've learned about really like eating meat. Do all birds eat meat? Actually, no, Blippi. We have some animals that are omnivores that like eating two different things, meat and plant material. And we got one we'll share with you right now. Oh, wow, yeah. that's amazing. An omnivore eats meat like a carnivore and vegetables and plants like an herbivore. Oh, that's a lot of big words. <laughs> but let's go see this bird Marco has. Come on. All right, let's go. <laughs> Look at that. Whoa. Look at it. This bird is so big <laughs> and colorful. Whoa. Hi. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, what kind of bird is this? This is a West African or East African gray crown crane. And you can see that by the gray on the side of her body here. Whoa, a uh, West African? Whoa, wait, can you see that one? <laughs> oh time? yeah, East African gray crown crane. East African gray crown crane? <laughs> That's a really long name. <laughs> but a really beautiful bird deserves a really cool, beautiful name. <laughs> Whoa. And what's that on their head? It looks like spikes, like an echidna. 
Yeah, you actually, a lot of people think that, but you know, those are actually tightly woven feathers, so they're not sharp at all. Just like that big, beautiful wingspan, every feather is modified for very specific things. She has feathers for flying, she's got feathers to keep her warm, she's even got feathers to attract the mate, but those feathers, it's a good symbol that she's an adult crown crane. Wow, <laughs> a grown-up. <laughs> Whoa, does this crown crane have a family? She does have a family. They're very social animals, and she is like the other ambassadors we talked about for her wild brothers and sisters. So we're part of her flock here at the bird show in the bird department, and she helps connect people with wildlife. Wow, these birds are so amazing. <laughs> Thanks for sharing so many amazing animals with us. <laughs> Thanks, Marco. No problem, Lippy. I'll see you later. All right. <laughs> Look at where we are. It feels like we're in the jungle. Woo! <laughs> hmm, I wonder what kind of animal lives here. Hmm, that's not a platypus. <laughs> Whoa! You see what kind of animal that is? It's a Sumatran tiger. Yeah, they are really big cats that are really powerful. <laughs> yeah. Whoa! Look. He's coming this way. Hello. <laughs> this tiger's name is Rakan. <laughs> and it looks like he's getting ready for lunch. Yeah. Tigers, they love to eat. They like to eat meat because they're carnivores. Mm -hmm. Carnivores, that means an animal that likes to eat meat. And they have a really big teeth that help them do it. Front teeth, ah, they grab onto their food. And back teeth, that help chew the food. <laughs> Woo! It's really good to chew up your food, especially if it's healthy food. Woo! Woo! <laughs> well, maybe he's not gonna eat lunch today. He's probably feeling a little bit sleepy and having just a lazy day relaxing in his habitat. <laughs> it sure looks like fun to be a tiger. <laughs> Whoa! Look at him walk. Whoa, <laughs> he was moving really fast. <laughs> wow, <laughs> it is so fun seeing so many amazing animals. <laughs> but we still need to find the platypus. <laughs> We're gonna find him, I just know it. Look at who I have here. This is B, <laughs> and B is my friend. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, B is a Bennett's wallaby. Yeah, a wallaby. Wallaby's kind of like a small kangaroo, and she loves tasty treats. She's eating some tasty leaves. It's called Gruya. Ooh, <laughs> she is so happy. Whoa! <laughs> Look. Wallabies and kangaroos, look, they have really big feet. And they love treats. Ooh, <laughs> Ooh <laughs> that was a treat. <laughs> yeah, look, really big feet. And a really big toe. Yeah, they have three toes. One, two, three. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> she's having fun eating these leaves. Hey, look, do you see right here? She has some really big teeth. She has two top teeth and two bottom teeth that are really big incisors. <laughs> so she can grab the gruya and tear it off and munch it up. <laughs> Ooh, she's so cute. I think she had a lot of that, so maybe we can give her some sweet potato. <laughs> yeah, wallabies, they're herbivores, which means they really like leafy greens and sweet potatoes. Whoa. <laughs> You want a sweet potato? Mm. Do you want some lettuce? <gasps> mm. Took a little nibble. <laughs> I think she wants some treats. <laughs> okay, I'll give her another treat because she's being so good. <laughs> Whoa, do you see this? Look, B has a really big tail. Hey, B. <laughs> Whoa, did you see that? Yeah, B likes to hop. 
Here's a treat. <laughs> I like to hop too. Hey, let's hop like a wallaby. Whoop. <laughs> Hey, B, do you want another treat? Whoa! <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wallabies are amazing animals. Yeah, and they're marsupials, <laughs> which means they have a pouch. Whoa! <laughs> that is so cool. Well, maybe we can see if we can find a kangaroo. They gotta be around here somewhere. Let's go! <laughs> Look at what it is. They're Western gray kangaroos. <laughs> yeah, they're just like me, the wallaby, except they're not wallabies. <laughs> they're kangaroos. Mm -hmm. They're both marsupials, but kangaroos are a lot bigger than a wallaby. <laughs> Whoa. Let's go see if they want to nibble on some gruya. Come on. Hello. <laughs> hey. Do you want a tasty treat? Some gruya. Hey. Isn't this really yummy? You want some of this? Whoa. Maybe they want some hibiscus leaves. Oh, <laughs> they really like hibiscus leaves. Whoa, look at them. Whoa, these kangaroos are a lot bigger. Yeah, you see their ears? Their ears are so big, so they can hear really well. <laughs> and look, their feet are even bigger than bees. Yeah, a kangaroo is so much bigger, and their feet are so much stronger that they can go up to 30 miles per hour. Whoa! That's really fast. <laughs> hey, maybe they want some lettuce. Whoa, yeah, or maybe, hmm. Well, we don't wanna get too close because they don't like if we get too close. <laughs> hey, look, a little sweet potato. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> did you see their teeth? <laughs> really good for munching on sweet potatoes. <laughs> Whoa. They're so cute and cuddly. Hey, and do you notice something? Look, it's the pouch. Yeah, it's the kangaroo pouch right by their legs. <laughs> Whoa, and that's where little Joey's hmm, baby kangaroos like to hang out. Yeah, they grow up in the pouch. Whoa, <laughs> I think I'm gonna give them some more treats. Hey, there's a lettuce. Isn't that so yummy? <laughs> really yummy. And healthy. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> that was so much fun getting to see some Western gray kangaroos. <laughs> well, we still haven't found our platypus yet. Maybe we can keep looking and we'll find the platypus. <laughs> let's, let's go hop to find the platypus like a kangaroo. <laughs> Look at this place. <laughs> I wonder what kind of animal lives here. <laughs> Let's find out. Oh, unique and elusive. Hmm. <laughs> that means whatever animal lives here is really special. <laughs> Let's see what it says. Hmm. This animal has a bill like a duck and lays eggs. Hmm has the body of an otter and the tail like a beaver. Hmm. <gasps> it's a platypus. <laughs> yeah. We found where the platypus lives. Whoa. It's really dark, but I know we can find it. Come on. Whoa. We found the platypus. <laughs> 
Look at him swimming around. His bill looks just like a duck. Ooh, <laughs> and his body like a little otter. Whoa. And look at his tail. It looks just like a beaver's tail. <laughs> so cool. Oh, look. He's swimming under a log. <laughs> he loves to swim. Ooh, hello. Ooh. Ooh. We made it outside. That was amazing. We got to see the platypus swimming around. <laughs> we did it. Thanks for helping me find him. <laughs> okay, I'll see you around. <laughs> I had so much fun going on a safari with you. We saw so many amazing animals. Hey, what was your favorite animal we saw today? <laughs> I like that one too. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, will you spell my name with me? <laughs> okay, here we go. B L I P P I. Blippi. Good job. Well, I'll see you soon. Bye bye. Me, Flippy, and check out where we're at. The Indianapolis Motor Speedway in Indianapolis, Indiana. <laughs> and guess what happens here? The world's largest single day sporting event. It's a really, really big race. The Indy 500. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited to go inside and see all of those really fast race cars in real life. Hey, do you like to go really fast too? <laughs> Great. Me too. Well, let's go and start your engines. Whoa! Whoa! This place is awesome! <laughs> I am so excited to learn about so many different things, like race cars and racetracks, and what it takes to be a professional race car driver. <laughs> this is so fun. <laughs> Whoa, do you know where we are right now? We're on the track. <laughs> yeah. I'm so excited to be on the actual track at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. <laughs> Whoa, and there's so many cool things here. Come on. Whoa, look at it. <laughs> hey, do you know who that is? It's me. <laughs> they even have my name here. Wow, and look what's under me. A lot of seats. Yeah, this is a really big track, so they have lots of seats so they can have lots of people. 250,000 people. <laughs> That's a lot of people. Wow, this place is so huge. <laughs> I bet a lot of people and a lot of cars will go here. <laughs> wow, it's so big. <laughs> this track is really big and really long. It's two and a half miles. Whoa, <laughs> yeah, two and a half miles. And the drivers do 200 laps. Ooh, that means 500 miles. Whoa, wait a minute. 500 miles, Indy 500. Oh, <laughs> that's why they call it that. <laughs> so silly. Wow, this is so cool. Can you see what's here? Yeah, look, they have different lines drawn on the ground because we're in the pit lane. <laughs> yeah, this is the part of the track where drivers get, they can come to the side to get new tires or more gas and get ready to keep racing. Yeah. And each one of these boxes has a different car and team. <laughs> Whoa, it's so cool here. Well, maybe if we get really lucky, we can ride in a real race car. Whoa, and look at this. <laughs> it's a real life race car. And professional race car drivers, Alexander Rossi and James Hinchcliffe. <laughs> Hi, it's me, Blippi. Hey, Blippi, how are you doing? I'm doing great 
really nice to meet you. So good to see you, man. Yeah, thanks for coming out. Is this your race car? Sure is. Whoa, it looks so fast and really cool. And hey, do you notice something? <laughs> you have my name on it. You sure do, man, just for you. Ah, uh, thanks. Hey, will you spell my name with me? Can we do it? Yeah. All right. Goodness. Let's do it. Okay, here we go. B L I P P I. Flippy. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Whoa, there are so many cool parts. Can you tell us a little bit about the race car? I'd love to, Blippi. Why don't we start right here with the tires? Now, this race car's got four tires, just like your car at home, but the tires are very different. You Whoa. notice how it's really smooth on top, no treads on it? Whoa. We call it a slick tire. That gives the race car more grip in the corners, which is obviously really important. <laughs> very special tires for these cars. And like the tires on your road car, well, they're gonna last you a while, six months, a year. These are only gonna last us for 25 laps. So we have to come in a lot and change tires all the time because they don't last very long. Whoa, that's a lot of tires and a lot of pit stops. <laughs> and a lot of money. A set of tires on your road car might cost you a couple hundred dollars. One of these tires is $1,500 and we've got four every time we come in. What? $1,500? <laughs> that's an expensive tire, <laughs> but it sure looks cool. Whoa. And this race car is really colorful. Do you know the colors on the race car? <laughs> yeah, we have the color yellow, the color red, the color blue, and the color white. <laughs> Let oh. me show you one of my favorite things, Blippi. So this is the steering wheel. Do you want to hold it? Yeah. Okay, so Whoa. it kind of looks like a video game. It's very different than your mom and dad's, you know, car steering yeah. wheel. It's got a lot of buttons. It's got a screen that gives you a lot of information about the engine, how oh. fast you're going. On the back, you have the shifters. So that's to go up, that's to go down. And this is the clutch. So oh. very, very complicated, very, very cool. Um, and it's it's all part of what makes a race car go as fast as they do. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, do you see that? Look, the shifters. <laughs> They're little, little switches on the back. Little switches, little paddles. Do you wanna little know what paddles. else makes the car go really fast? Yeah. James will show you up front. Come over here, Blippi. Here's something I wanna show you. Hey, James. So you see this part right here? You yeah. don't see this on a road car, do you? Mm -mm. Nope, my this car is... doesn't have that. <laughs> <laughs> this is called the front wing. And what the front wing does is generate something called downforce. So what downforce is, is when the air pushes the car into the ground and it gives you more grip in the corners. So the faster you go, the faster the air hits this wing, the harder it pushes the car in the ground, the more grip you have. Whoa, that's really important. We don't want our race car to become an airplane. <laughs> no, we don't want it flying away. <laughs> We've talked a lot about what's, what makes a race car different than your car that you see on the road, but one of the things that's very similar is we have what's called an aero screen in IndyCar, and it's, it's basically a windshield. And it was designed and introduced in 2020 to help protect the drivers. You know, we go over 200 miles an hour with over 30 different cars on the racetrack with us at the same time, and sometimes accidents happen. And so the number one thing for, for the series and for the Indianapolis Motor Speedway is to protect the drivers and make it a safe sport. So this was a major introduction, the first in all of motor racing, to put a screen on an open wheel race car. So that's very, very similar to a windshield that you'd have on a road car. And then you also have mirrors. So this is so we can see what's behind us. Huh, that's so cool. Yeah, look at this. This is a really cool era screen. Very cool and very, <laughs> very strong. It can withstand up to six pickup trucks uh, the weight of six pickup trucks on top of that, so incredibly what? strong. <laughs> the weight of six pickup trucks? That's really heavy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, Alex, I wanted to ask, since you have the aero screen, do you still have to wear a helmet? You do still have to wear a helmet. You know, ultimately, we're still driving in an open cockpit. You, you can see there's no roof on the top. So there are still potentials to have things come and hit your head, and as fast as we're going, you want to make sure you're as safe as possible. Safety first is really important. <laughs> Wow, well, thank you both for teaching us about all these different parts of this really cool race car. <laughs> of course, but I mean, it's not just about the car and the driver. There's a pit crew, too. Do you want to go meet them? I would love to go meet the pit crew. All right, let's go. Come on. Whoa, look at where we are. We're in the garage. <laughs> and I'm so excited to meet the pit crew. <laughs> Flippy, I want to introduce you to two of our mechanics. We got Brad and... Brad. Hey, nice to meet you, Blippi. Hi, Brad. Nice so to meet Blippi, you. So, Blippi, the Brads are going to show you how to change a tire. Oh, whoa, Brad and Brad, they both have the same name. <laughs> That's so silly. <laughs> Brad, that would be really nice of you to show us how to change a tire. Sure can, Blippi. This is a wheel gun. You take the wheel gun, you put it on the wheel nut, pull the trigger, it comes off. You take the old tire, set it down, pick up a new tire, 
slam it on, change the gun, and you're done. Whoa, that was really fast. You take the wheel gun to take off the wheel nut to take off the tire really, really fast. <laughs> Brad, how fast can you change a tire? A good one is under five seconds. Whoa, under five seconds? Woo! <laughs> That's really fast. <laughs> Well, you think I could change a tire? Sure, I'm gonna have Brad, the other Brad, help you. <laughs> oh, thanks Brad. Oh, hi Brad. <laughs> first thing you're gonna want to put on some gloves. Okay, first we wanna put on gloves. <laughs> Safety first. Safety. Okay. One glove and two gloves. <laughs> now that we have on our gloves, I think we can change the tire. That's really heavy. <laughs> Whew, I'll give it to Brad. <laughs> and we take the other tire, we put it on the race car. <laughs> now we need to put the wheel nut back on the car. And here we go. Now we put it back on. There you Whoa, go. There it is. <laughs> nice work. Whoa. Good job, Lippy. <laughs> Whoa, that was really hard. I did it a little bit longer than five seconds, but I just need a little practice. <laughs> wow, that was so amazing. Well, Brad, what else does a pit crew do for a race car or a race car driver? The pit crew guys clean the car, build the car, make the car for the drivers each race weekend. Wow, that is so cool. Feels like they have a really important job to have a great race. <laughs> oh, and that reminds me. What else do you need to do to get ready for a race? Well, Blippi, driving a race car is incredibly physical. You have four to five G-forces, which is four to five times your body weight pushing against you in either a forward and back motion or a side to side motion. So we do a lot of stretches, James and I, before we get into a race car to do a race. Sometimes the races are two to three hours long, so you wanna make sure your body's nice and warm and ready to go. So the first thing we focus on is our neck. You know, we have the helmet on, that weighs five or six pounds. We have a lot of load that's placed on our neck with all those G-forces. So let's just grab one side of our neck and, and kind of pull it gently to the side. And we'll do that for a couple seconds and then go to the other side. Wow. Just want to make sure you do it all. And then push on the back to kind of get the, the back of the neck warmed up. Cool. And then push on the forehead and push, push against to get that, that part of your neck warmed up. So it's really good to help make sure that you, know, you don't get tired in the race. The next thing we can do in, a, in an Indy car, there's no power steering. Whoa. So the steering wheel is very heavy, very it's very difficult to control the car, so you want to make sure that your shoulders and arms are warmed yeah. up. So we'll Probably needs really stretch. strong oh, arms too. Yeah, yeah, Whoa. for sure. So Whoa. forward, forward, backwards, yeah. yeah. Back. Whoa. You can make circles with us too! Whoa! <laughs> and the last thing you do is, you know, you are sitting for, for a long period of time, right? So you want to make sure that your legs are as warmed up as possible. So okay. what we can do is we can do a couple, we can either do jumping jacks or we can do lunges, James. What do you think we should do? I think we should try a lunge. Try Thanks a lunge. Okay, yeah, here we good. go. You can lunge with us too. Okay, here we go. Step forward. Here we go. Switch, switch legs. That's good guys. Make sure you get both of them. Yeah, do Ooh. one more. All right, so now you warmed up your legs. Good job. Your arms <laughs> and your neck. So you're ready to drive a race car. Love it. Ready to drive a race car. But I think there might be something else I'm missing. There are a couple rules when you drive the race car, and so you have to make sure you know those rules. And those okay. are really based around the flags. Now, the flags all have different colors, so I'm gonna go grab those flags and I can show you what each one means, okay? Okay, all right. I'll see you soon. Whoa. There's a lot that goes into having a really good race. I'm really excited to see all these flags and what all the colors mean. <laughs> so here we go, here's a couple flags. First one right here, what color is this, Blippi? Whoa, this is the color red, <laughs> a red flag. The red flag is when there's a stoppage in the race, and that happens if we have bad weather or a bad accident that they need to clean up. Okay. I'll hold it for you. Thanks. Next, we have the yellow flag. Ooh, yellow flag. Yellow <laughs> means caution, either in the corner or on the whole track. If there's just one car that's maybe off track, you've got to slow down and be cautious in that corner. But then once you're past that corner, you can move on to hopefully <gasps> see this one. I know this flag. The green flag. <laughs> yeah, the green flag. And I bet I know what this means too. Let's hear it. It's okay to go as fast as you can. As Woo! fast as you can. That's the one that everybody really loves seeing at the start of a race. But at the end of a race, this one's my favorite. This is the checkered flag. Whoa! 
Wow. And if you see this one first, it means the race is over and you won. Whoa. The checkered flag. <laughs> that means this is a really important flag. And one day, I hope I can see it if I win the race. <laughs> Woo. Hey, Blippi, I've got an idea. How about I show you what it's like to win the Indianapolis 500? Whoa. You would? Yeah. I would love to find out what it's like. All right, follow me. OK. Let's go follow Alex and see what it's like to win the Indianapolis 500. <laughs> see you soon. Woo. Whoa, look at where we are. <laughs> Flippy, do you know what this is? Whoa, this is it. The Borg Warner Trophy in real life. <laughs> so the Borg Warner Trophy uh, was created in 1936 and every single winner of the race, their face is engraved onto the trophy. <laughs> Whoa, look, there's lots of little faces. <laughs> They're right here. Wow, and they're from so many different years. Hey look, it has their name, and the year that they won, and their average miles per hour. <laughs> the average, average miles per hour for the whole 500 miles. And so while we're down here, Louis Meyer in 1936, when he won the Indy 500, he requested a glass of ice cold buttermilk when he got out of the race. But <laughs> we've, we've kept that as a tradition, and now every single year the winner gets a glass of milk. Oh, that sounds like a good tradition. Do you know what a tradition is? <laughs> yeah, a tradition is something that has been done for a really long time and it's important. So we keep doing it. <laughs> sounds like there's lots of traditions if you win. So here's your glass of milk as if you won the race. It's not buttermilk, keep in mind, but it's kind of cool. It's kind of special. You're at the victory podium. You have a glass of milk. It's almost <laughs> like you won the race. It's almost like I won the race. Flippy wins. <laughs> time to drink the victory milk. <laughs> Go. Like a pro. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Excuse me. <laughs> and the next thing that you get if you win the race is, well, because this trophy is five and a half feet tall, it's worth over two to three million dollars. It's worth a lot of money. They give you a miniature version of the Borg Warner trophy called the Baby Borg, which you get to take home with you and keep it at your house. Whoa! Whoa! I can't believe I'm holding a real Borg Warner Trophy, a miniature one. <laughs> wow, it is so beautiful, it has wings on the side, <laughs> and it looks like it's made of actual real silver. <laughs> oh, thanks, Alex. You're welcome. Thank you so much for coming and learning about the Indianapolis 500 and the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, and we really hope to have you come back next year so you can see the race in person. Whoa, I would love to come see the race in May. <laughs> it sounds so fun and exciting. <laughs> Thanks for teaching us about all these different things. Absolutely, it was so nice to meet you. Enjoy the rest of your time here, and I can't wait to see you again. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Bye, Bye Alex. <laughs> wow, can you believe it? We met an actual professional race car winner and someone who won the Indy 500. <gasps> I'm so excited. <laughs> hey, maybe we can keep exploring and learn some more things about the racetrack or another race car. <laughs> Come on. Look at what we found. <laughs> Well, right now, we're inside turn one at the garages, and it looks like we found a race car. <laughs> and look, not just a race car, but a race car driver. <laughs> well, I've had so much fun learning about racing and racetracks with you. <gasps> Maybe we can ask them about being a race car driver and learn even more. <laughs> Come on, let's go. <laughs> Whoa, it's professional race car driver, Sarah Fisher. <laughs> Hi, Sarah, I'm Blippi. Hi, Blippi, nice to meet you. Well, it's really nice to meet you. <laughs> We've been learning all about racing and being race car drivers. <laughs> What's it like being a race car driver? It's a lot of fun, but it is sure a lot of work. <laughs> well, it sure looks like fun. We love going really fast, <laughs> running, driving. <laughs> well, have you been a race car driver for a really long time? I have, I started in go-karts when I was just four years old. Oh. Four years old? Riding a go-kart? <laughs> I love go-karts. Hey, have you ever ridden a go-kart before? <laughs> uh, but this looks a little different from a go-kart. This is really a big race car. Whoa, look at it. It has really big wheels and tires. Wow, all kinds of parts to it. <laughs> oh, Sarah, do you have a favorite part to the race car? Oh, absolutely. I have many, but one of my favorites is the rear view mirror. 
It was actually developed here at Indianapolis Motor Speedway in 1911, the first race. Whoa, 1911? That's a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, you see? Look, it has a rear view mirror just like your car. So if you're driving along, <laughs> you can look in the mirror and see what's behind you. This one looks different from the other race car we saw. It has two seats. <laughs> one, two, two seats. <laughs> hey, what's the second seat for? Well, this car is purposefully built so that I can give people a ride and they can see just how fast an Indy car can go. <laughs> Whoa, that sounds really, really fun. <laughs> well, I've never been in an Indy car before, but they sound really fast. Well, what's it feel like to be in an Indy car? Do you get really nervous or shaky because you're bumping along really fast? <laughs> Well, just like any other sport, sure, you can get a little nervous, but once you're in the car, all buckled in, it's time to go. <laughs> Whoa, that's so cool. And this car is really colorful too. Oh, do you know what colors the race car is? Yeah, look, it's the color green and the color blue. <laughs> Dark blue. <laughs> wow, this is a really cool race car. I wish I could drive in it. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, because it has a second seat, why don't you come for a ride with me and see what it's like? Me? Ride with you in a race car? You bet. <laughs> yeah, I would love to ride. Whoa, do you think I should ride in the race car? <laughs> okay, we'll have to do it. <laughs> well, let's go get a uniform and a helmet and get buckled up and ready to go. Okay, great. <laughs> Time to get suited up. <laughs> Whoa, it even has a bow tie. <laughs> I have two bow ties. <laughs> I think we're all suited up. Let's go, come on. <laughs> hmm. I wonder where Sarah went. <laughs> Good thing I have my binoculars. <laughs> hmm. I don't see her anywhere. I think I hear something. Oh, I see something. Whoa! That was really, really fast! <laughs> I can't wait for her to come around again! I think it's time for us to ride! Hello! <laughs> Whoa! We're up 
so high! <laughs> Today was awesome! Here at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, <laughs> we learned all about racetracks, race cars, and even got to meet some professional race car drivers! <laughs> Sarah Fisher, James Hinchcliffe, and the winner of the 100th running of the Indy 500, Alex Rossi! <laughs> well, that's the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name! Hey, will you spell my name with me? <laughs> Great! B L I P P I! Flippy! Good job! Well, I'll see you soon! <laughs> hey! It's me, Flippy! And today, we get to go on this really big boat! Whoa! It's enormous! <laughs> yeah! I'm so excited because you and I are here at Pier Dolphin Cruises in St. Petersburg, Florida. And we get to explore and learn about all kinds of sea creatures and maybe see some dolphins. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> hey, we made it onto the boat. <laughs> yeah, and this boat is awesome because it's not a regular boat. This is a really big boat for lots of people. It's called a catamaran. <laughs> yeah! Look at all the seats. <laughs> Whoa! And look at this over here. Yeah! This is a really giant net. Woo! <laughs> but this net, this isn't for catching fish. No, this net is really important in case you drop something over the side. You can just pick it up, woo, <laughs> so it doesn't get lost. Woo! <laughs> okay, we'll put this net back here. Whoa, and check it out! Yeah, it's a giant brush! Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> so silly. This brush isn't a toothbrush. No, this brush is really good for cleaning the boat. You can scrub it nice and clean from dirt, or maybe if there are barnacles. Yeah, we'll scrub like this. <laughs> Squeaky clean! Yeah! Okay, we'll put the brush back. I think we did enough cleaning for today. Whoa, let's see what else there is. Whoa, do you see it? Look at this! The ceiling is my favorite color, orange! <laughs> yeah! Whoa, and this is a really important ceiling. Yeah, it has a lot of life vests. Look at it. Whoa. Yeah, these life vests are super important because if you're ever in the water, they help you to float. <laughs> you can put them on just like this. Hello! And then you take a clip And then you're all clipped in and can say super safe. <laughs> yeah. But look, it's some captain's hats. Whoa, <laughs> one hat and two hat. Whoa, <laughs> so silly. <laughs> Whoa, look, it's my friend, Captain Christian. And he is a real life captain. <laughs> yeah, that is awesome. Uh, but what is a captain exactly? Well, it's a very important job. We drive the boat around. We make sure everybody's safe, and we make sure everybody has a great time on our boat. <laughs> yeah! That sounds like a really awesome job. And maybe one day, when you grow up, you can be a captain too. <laughs> yeah! Well, Captain Christian, it looks like it's really complicated driving a boat. There's all these buttons and levers. Yes, there's a lot. Whoa. Right over here, these are called a throttle. Oh, cool! And the throttle, if you push it forward, the boat goes forward. And if you pull it back, the boat goes backwards. Okay, let's try it. We'll push the throttle forward. Yeah, and that makes the boat go forward, and that makes it go backwards. Okay, cool. And this is a steering wheel, very important part of the boat. 
and it turns the boat to the right or to the left. You Whoa. wanna try it? Yeah, I wanna try it. Here we go. I think I'm almost ready to be a captain. <laughs> well, look at this. It looks just like a steering wheel on a car, except this one's really big, because <laughs> it's a really big boat. Whoa, <laughs> and what about this right here? That's the compass. That tells us what's north, south, east, and west, and which direction we want to go. Whoa, that's so cool. It tells you all the different directions and where to go. <laughs> hey, and look, there's a microphone. Hello, hello, welcome aboard everyone. Captain Blippi. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> hey, I am so excited to see dolphins with you today. But first, I think you and I should learn more about ocean animals. Good thing I'm here with my good friend, Mackenzie Mungai. Yeah, she's a real-life marine biologist. Ooh. Uh, hi, Mackenzie. Hi. Mackenzie, what exactly does a marine biologist do? A marine biologist is somebody who studies the ocean and aims to protect it. Ooh, and what's your favorite part about being a marine biologist? My favorite part about being a marine biologist is being able to study it and educate others about the importance of protecting it so that we can ensure the longevity of our planet. Whoa! That sounds really, really important. Hey, well, we're trying to learn about ocean animals. Maybe Mackenzie can help us. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, it looks like we have some sea creatures here. What's this guy called? This one is a horseshoe crab, and this is my favorite animal in our touch tank today. Whoa. Can I pick him up? Of course. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. I'm going to be very gentle, though. Hello, Mr. Horseshoe Crab. Whoa. Look at all his legs. Yeah! How many legs does he have? Whoa! Hey, let's count the horseshoe crab's legs together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten! He has ten legs! Whoa! That's a lot of legs! A lot of legs. <laughs> yeah! Well, and Mackenzie, look, it looks like he has all these barnacles on his back. He does have all of these barnacles on his back. The reason that he has these barnacles is because barnacles are parasites. So they do attach to the animals in the ocean that are very slow moving. And our horseshoe crabs are pretty slow moving. So they have tons of barnacles attached to them, but they're also a great health indicator because if they attach to animals in the ocean that should be moving pretty fast, mm -hmm. it's normally an indication that those animals are probably sick. Whoa. So if you see a turtle that's supposed to go really fast with barnacles, then maybe the turtle is sick and needs a doctor. Whoa. Okay, well, that's pretty cool. I like you, Mr. Horseshoe Crab. I'm going to put you back in the water. Bye-bye. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. And Mackenzie, I think I know what this is right here. Hey. Hello. <laughs> Look. This is a starfish. It is. Whoa. Look at how cool he is. His back. It's kind of like a greenish gray color. And his belly, whoa, his belly is the color yellow. Oh, Mackenzie, woohoo, <laughs> he's kind of tickly. What are all these little pokey things? All of those little pokey things are called his tube feet, and that is how he will be able to move across the seafloor. Whoa, he has a lot of really cool tube feet. Here, look, whoa. <laughs> okay, horse, uh, this starfish is pretty cool, and so is the horseshoe crab. I'm gonna put them back in the tank now. Okay, bye-bye, starfish. Whoa, and it looks like there are a lot of shells in here. Whoa, there's one right here, and this one, whoa, is really <laughs> heavy. It looks kind of like a rock. Whoa, <laughs> yeah, what are these kind of shells? So this one that is heavy like a rock is a clam shell. Whoa, it's a clam shell. And what about this one? And this one is called a king's crown conch. And these are two different species of shells, but they're also in two separate classifications. This one has two identical matching halves, just like your hands. You put them together, it's a bivalve, <laughs> just like the clam. Whoa, and is this a bivalve too? This one's not a bivalve. This one's called a mollusk. It does not have oh. two identical matching halves. <laughs> Whoa, that is so cool. Bivalve? Mollusk. And this one looks like it has a king's crown on its head. King Blippi <laughs> with the really cool mollusk. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> well, these are pretty cool shells, but I'm going to let them go back into the water. Whoa. Mackenzie, check this out. Look at this guy. It looks like he's in a mollusk shell, 
but he is. He's he's not a sea snail. He's not. This is a hermit crab. And the hermit crabs differ from the mollusk because the mollusks are snails, but they will also make their own homes. So Whoa. they do make their own shells. Whoa. These ones just borrow the homes from them. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Hermit Crab. <laughs> He's just borrowing his home. He didn't make him himself, but he sure is pretty cute. <laughs> uh, whoa, and it looks like, yeah, it's a little pincher there. I don't want to get pinched, so <laughs> I'm going to put him back in the tank. Okay, bye-bye, Mr. Hermit Crab. Bye-bye. Whoa. <laughs> whoa, Mackenzie, look at this. This is a really big shell. What kind of creature is it? This one is called a lightning whelk. Ooh. <laughs> you mind if I hold it? Absolutely. Okay, here we go. Hello, lightning whelk. Whoa. Hey, Mackenzie, is this also a mollusk? It is also a mollusk. Whoa, it's so big, just like the small mollusk. And it has one of these things, too. Uh, what's this exactly? So this is its foot, but it's also called an operculum. And it's entirely made out of Keratin. It's the same thing as your fingernail. Whoa! Operculum. Hmm, that's a really big word, but I'll just call it the snail's foot. Yeah! <laughs> hey, a lot of these sea creatures also have feet, just like you and I. That's pretty neat. <laughs> well, I'm gonna put this guy back in the water. Whoa, it's been pretty <laughs> cool learning about all these different sea creatures. Well, Mackenzie, what are those right there? So these are sponges. Do you notice Ooh. the difference between the two of them? Well, this one right here looks kind of new. <laughs> it's the color yellow. Um, what about this one? Well, this one, hmm, it looks like a sponge, but it's a little bit dirty. It hmm. is dirty. Cool. I just found this one. This one's fresh off the beach. They are living here in Tampa Bay. <gasps> and they're really great for our environment because they're able to filter hundreds of gallons of water every single day. Can you find anything out of the ordinary on this sponge? Whoa, look at this sponge. It filtered a lot of things out of the water. Look, there's some blue string and yarn, and it looks like a little piece of grass too. Whoa, that's so awesome, Mackenzie, that you found this one in the ocean. Whoa, and this one looks like someone cleaned it out, right? Yeah, exactly. So we do take our sponges, we do harvest them here in Florida, and we get them clean, and you are able to use them in the shower Ooh. or to do your dishes as well. <laughs> <laughs> or even maybe to wash your car. <laughs> wow, sponges are so cool. Thanks so much, Mackenzie. Of course. Whoa, that was so much fun learning about all those sea creatures. And now I think it's time for you and I to look at some dolphins. But we're going to make sure that we look at the dolphins out in their natural habitat. Because we always want to be kind and respectful to all the sea creatures that we see. <laughs> yeah! Okay, I think it's time for us to go sailing! Come on! <laughs> I am so excited to set sail! <laughs> yeah! Let's go help Captain Christian undock the boat. Come on! <laughs> hey, Captain Christian! Hey, Blippi! Whoa, what are you doing? We're getting ready to untie all the dock lines and head out into the bay. <laughs> yeah! I am so excited to see some real dolphins! <laughs> well, what's this right here? That's a cleat. So any knot that's tied properly will be able to come undone no matter how much pressure's on it. Oh, cool. So we just push it open like this, take Whoa. it off the cleat. That was pretty easy. <laughs> yeah, this is the bow line. That means, bow means the front of the boat. And then these are the fenders, and then we're gonna put those inside. These keep the boat from banging against the dock. Okay, <laughs> whoa, these are pretty big fenders. Yeah, good job. Whoa, <laughs> we All did right. it. Go ahead on board. Okay. <laughs> So Captain Christian's gonna start up the engine and I'm gonna go look for some dolphins! <laughs> yeah! the boat all over the ocean, we finally found some dolphins! <laughs> yeah! Let's look! Let's see if we can spot them. <laughs> Whoa! Do you 
to see the dolphin? Yeah! Hello! We did it! We see the dolphins! Look! It looks like they're friends! Hello, dolphins! Whoa! This is so cool! Whoa! Look! They're so close! Hello! They're swimming under the boat! Look at what we found! Yeah, this is a seabird sanctuary! And it's called Bird Island because no one else is allowed to go on it. It's just for the birds. <laughs> and this island is filled with a lot of birds. Last year, over 1,500 birds hatched! Whoa! <laughs> and that's a lot of birds. <laughs> and there's all different kinds that live here. Let's see if we can take a closer look. Whoa, look at all the birds. These birds right here are really beautiful because they have really fancy feathers and they're the color white. Their names are the egrets <laughs> and they like to nest together because it keeps them safe and because they're friends. <laughs> and look, They've made little nests out of different branches and twigs so that they can put their eggs there. And after the eggs are laid, they hatch. And you have lots of little baby egrets. Ooh, so cute. Whoa. And look over here. There are also some pink birds. They're called roseate spoonbills. Hmm, let's see if we can see those. <laughs> yeah. And they're called spoonbills because their mouths are their beaks have really silly ends to them. It's kind of rounded like a spoon. <laughs> so you might eat soup, but the spoonbills, they like to eat their food with their spoon-like beak. <laughs> yeah, and they eat all kinds of things like insects, fish, and even frogs. Ribbit, woo. <laughs> well, this is really cool thing up close. Oh, did you see that? Look, it's a little baby egret. Yeah, he's sitting just under his mama. Hello! <laughs> Whoa, this bird island is really cool. Not only are there roseate spoonbills and egrets, there are also pelicans. Hmm. I don't know if I see any pelicans yet, but keep your eyes open and maybe we can spot one. <laughs> yeah! Okay, I'm gonna keep looking at the birds and see if we can find a pelican. This right here, is one of the birds that lives on Bird Island. It's called a pelican. Ooh. Pelicans are really cool because when they're born, they are hatchlings. They hatch out of eggs. And they're really small, like the size of a baseball. <laughs> and they don't have any feathers, so they look kind of funny. <laughs> but after about a month, these pelicans will grow about the size of a football start to get lots of feathers. <laughs> They're pretty amazing. Let's look. Whoa. And come here. There's even co more cool birds. Yeah. See this black bird over here? That bird is called an anhinga. Ooh, that's a tricky word to say. Anhinga. Whoa, well, look, a pelican. Hello, Mr. Pelican. <laughs> well, the anhinga is pretty amazing because they dive really deep into the water to catch their food. They like to eat crabs, and also fish, just like a pelican. The cool thing about the anhinga is they're really, really good at holding their breath. So when they go under water, they can catch the crabs and fish, and they can hold their breath. <laughs> it's pretty amazing. And he's just hanging out in the sun. Hello, Mr. Anhinga. <laughs> this is pretty cool. I'm going to keep seeing if I can discover any more birds. I had so much fun with you today, learning about all kinds of marine animals. <laughs> yeah, we saw dolphins and birds and all types of creatures that crawl on the sea floor. <laughs> yeah, and we saw some really cool people who did some really amazing jobs, like a captain or a marine biologist. Whoa, it was so much fun. <laughs> Seeing those dolphins in real life was amazing. <laughs> they were so cool. Whoa, look at this. It's time for a bubbles lab. And today, we're going to make an ocean in a bottle. Whoa, <laughs> look at it. So many shells, little animals. When you shake it up, 
Whoa! <laughs> it looks like the ocean. <laughs> okay, we get to make one of our own. We'll start with a water bottle. And I made sure to take off all the different stickers and things that are on the outside so you can see right through it. <laughs> okay, first, we need water. So I'm gonna take one cup of water, pour it in here. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Look at it go! It's already looking like the ocean. <laughs> and we want to make it look like the actual ocean, so we're going to put a little bit of blue food coloring. Just one drop. One. And maybe we'll put a second drop. Ooh, <laughs> that's just the right amount. And now we're gonna pour it in the bottle. Be really careful, this is a little tricky. Woo, we did it! <laughs> Look, all the water in the bottle. <laughs> this is so cool. And now it's my favorite part. We have seashells <laughs> and sea creatures. Oh, <laughs> all kinds. Look, we have jellyfish. <laughs> we have, whoa, an octopus. Hmm, <laughs> they're so silly looking. Yeah. We have some crabs. <laughs> crabs in, hmm, yeah. Let's put in a, a sea turtle. Whoa. <laughs> So let's grab our animals, and we want to get some shells too. So just pick out whatever shells look really cool. We have a white shell. Whoa, look, this one's like a little spiral shell. Hmm, and I'll just grab a couple more. <laughs> okay, now we take our shells, put them in the bottle, and now our sea creatures. Turtle, octopus, jellyfish, <laughs> and hermit crab. Bye! -bye. <laughs> Once you have all your shells, animals in the water, the only thing left is we need to put in some oil. But first, I think that needs a little more water. Let's see. Here we go. That's just the right amount. And now we can put in some oil. Here we go. Whoa, <laughs> look at it go. The oil's gonna help make lots of bubbles. Because oil and water, they don't like to mix. <laughs> Almost to the top. Almost to the top. <laughs> Whoa. We're almost done. This looks amazing. <laughs> Okay, the next thing we need to do is make sure this doesn't get really messy. Mm -mm. We want to keep it nice and clean. So, we're going to take some of this plumber's tape and I just wrap it around the top of the bottle so that no water or oil will leak out. Then, you can ask a grown-up to use scissors to make a little cut and now we can put on the cap. <laughs> and to be extra safe, we're gonna use tape. And this tape is my favorite color. It's the color orange. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna use a little tape. And yeah, just wrap it around. Make sure no oil, water, Get out. We don't want to mess. Okay. <laughs> then press the tape, and you have an ocean in a bottle. Whoa! And my favorite part, shaking it up. Whoa! Look at it. It looks like the animals are swimming around the bottle really fast in the ocean. <laughs> 
and the shells, they stay at the bottom. Just like in real life! <laughs> this was so much fun! We made an ocean in the bottle, we saw dolphins in real life, we visited Bird Island, and did so many amazing things learning about sea creatures. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, can you spell my name with me? <laughs> okay. P-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Flippy. Good job. Well, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs> Woo! Woo! It's me, Flippy, <laughs> and today we're here at Angel Stadium in Anaheim, California. <laughs> and today we get to go to Monster Jam. <laughs> yeah, Monster Jam is an event with monster trucks. <laughs> yeah, do you know what a monster truck is? You do? Have you seen one before? <laughs> they are enormous. They are gigantic. <laughs> well, I'm really excited to see a monster truck. Oh, and maybe we can even meet the driver. <laughs> this is gonna be so cool, seeing them race and jump off ramps and maybe even do a flip. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> I can't wait to see a Monster Jam monster truck up close. <laughs> I've been driving around in my Flippy Mobile all day trying to find one. Hmm. Do you see a monster truck anywhere around here? Hmm. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. It's a monster truck. <laughs> Whoa, it's so big. <laughs> no way. And look at who it is. Hey, what's up, Flippy? <laughs> It's professional Monster Jam driver, Barry Musauer! <laughs> Whoa, it's What's so good up? to see you. <laughs> it's great to be here, man. Whoa, and look at this. This monster truck is huge. <laughs> is this a Monster Jam monster truck? This is, this is Gravedigger, but this is a special Gravedigger because it actually can take passengers for a ride in a real Monster Jam truck. <laughs> Whoa, no way. Did you hear that? You can go for a ride in this monster truck. Oh, <laughs> that sounds so fun. <laughs> Oh, and Bari, is this your monster truck? No, my monster truck's actually inside. It's called Zombie, and it's got zombie arms on it. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> can we take a closer look at your monster truck? Yeah, let's take a look at it. Let's go inside. <laughs> okay, let's go inside. Oh, wait a minute. We can go there on the Blippi Mobile. <laughs> would you like to take a ride with me? I would love to go in the Blippi Mobile. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> Zombie! <laughs> awesome! Can we take a closer look? Yeah, come on, check it out! Whoa! What's your favorite thing about driving in a monster truck? Oh, aside from meeting all the great Monster Jam fans, I love doing donuts. Oh, a donut? Is that when you drive around in a circle? Whoa! Yep, and I also <laughs> like to eat donuts too. Oh, I like to eat donuts too. <laughs> They're so yummy! Do you like to eat donuts too? Yum! <laughs> Whoa! And this thing is so big! Yeah. Whoa, check it out. These wheels, they're enormous. These tires are 66 inches tall, and they are 43 inches wide, and they weigh 650 pounds. 650 <laughs> pounds? Oh! Yeah. Whoa, those are so big, so tall, and so heavy. Whoa, Whoa and what's this? This is the engine. This is a 540 cubic inch Merlin racing engine, and it runs on methanol for fuel, and man, is it powerful. Oh, methanol? Hmm, so it doesn't use gasoline? Nope, methanol, it burns clean, and it gives us a whole lot of horsepower. Whoa, that's a lot of horsepower, and a lot of horses. <laughs> Ooh, well, what 
are these right here? Those are the shocks. You want to come check those out? Get a closer look? <laughs> okay, let's go take a closer look at the shocks. All okay, right. I'll see you around the back. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, look at how tall Zombie is. Whoa, <laughs> it's taller than us. <laughs> And these right here, are those the shocks? These are the shocks. They have 30 inches of travel in the back, 26 inches of travel in the front. That's how we absorb those huge, big air jumps. <laughs> Whoa, did you hear that? Yeah, a truck like this has shocks. So if it takes a really big jump, <laughs> you can land nice and safely. <laughs> Whoa, and what's this right here? This is the wheelie bar, man. This is for when I'm doing those really cool slap wheelies and I get to drag this thing in the dirt and it keeps me from tipping over. <laughs> well, that's really important. You don't want to tip over your monster jam truck. <laughs> Whoa, and this box, is that where the fuel goes? That is where the fuel goes. Well, this is a pretty cool truck. You think you could show us how to drive it? Yeah, let me show you how to get in. Okay, <laughs> come on. <laughs> Whoa. So excited because you and I get to go in the Monster Jam truck. <laughs> yeah. But first, I ask permission from Bart. That's why I can climb up. And second, I'm not going to drive it. Uh-oh. Because <laughs> I'm not a professional. Yeah. And I'm going to be nice and safe. Okay. Time to climb up into Zombie. <laughs> Here we go. Whoa. I'm so high up! <laughs> this is awesome! Well, it must be really fun driving a Monster Jam truck! <laughs> it's pretty amazing! <laughs> the arms! The arms! <laughs> hey, check it out! Zombie arms! Will you do some zombie arms with us? <laughs> yeah, let's do it! Okay! <laughs> Hey, Blippi, what's up, man? Whoa, what are you wearing? Man, this is my racing suit. Mine's decorated in zombie. Whoa, that is so cool. You see it? Yeah, he has a zombie racing suit, but why do you need to wear a racing suit? Well, you have to be safe. When it's time to race these trucks, safety is number one. And look, I got you your very own jacket, too. <gasps> no way! Check it out! <laughs> Let's put them on. Whoa, it's an official Monster Jam racing jacket. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. This makes you really official, man. Whoa. Zip that thing right up. <laughs> this is awesome. Whoa, check it out. It even has a zipper. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> this is cool. You're going to be safe just like me. Awesome. Well, you get in the truck and we're going to watch you someplace really safe. <laughs> okay. All right. I'll get in. But wait, there's one more thing that I gotta have you wear to make sure you're really super safe, okay? <gasps> Check this out. <gasps> Your very own Monster Jam Blippi helmet. <laughs> wow! Check it out! It's a Monster Jam Blippi helmet. <gasps> this is the best day ever! <laughs> Woo! This is awesome! <laughs> okay, I'll see you soon. All right, bud. <laughs> Woo! -hoo. See ya. in the truck, I have my blippy helmet, <laughs> and we're ready to race. <laughs> See you soon. Woohoo! Whoa! Do you hear that? The engine is so loud! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, Blippi, let's see what the Blippi Mobile's got. Whoa! Check it out! Oh, yeah, let's Whoa! see. coming out, Blippi. That was so much fun to show you, Zombie. Thanks for showing me the Blippi Mobile. Well, you're welcome. Yeah, it was a blast learning so much from you all about Monster Jam, and it was really nice learning from a great driver. <laughs> I can't wait to do it all over again. But before you go, take your helmet with you. Whoa, okay. <laughs> you don't want to forget this. <laughs> Thanks, Barry. I'll see you soon. All right, dude. See ya. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs> Whoa, that was awesome being here today at Monster Jam. We saw some pretty cool trucks that were so big and so loud. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, can you spell my name with me? <laughs> okay, here we go. B-L-I-P-P-I, -P -P -I. Flippy. Good job. <laughs> well, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Today, we're at Leavenworth Ski Hill in Leavenworth, Washington. <laughs> it is a winter wonderland today, and you and I are gonna have some fun in the snow. Let's go! Whoa! That was so much fun! Whoa! Did you see what I just did? Yeah, I rode this inner tube down that hill. But that hill wasn't that big. But hey, here we have a bigger hill and we have a machine to tow you up to the hill. So then you don't have to walk all the way up there. I'll show you that soon. But first, this is an inner tube. Whoa, 
This inner tube has a red cover on it. Whoa, it protects the inner tube. The actual inner tube is black and rubber on the inside. See? And then there's an inner tube leash. And this ring is what the hook hooks onto. That then it tows you up to the top of the hill. Woo -hoo -hoo. Whoa! Let's go check it out. Okay, check it out. So this machine, yeah, there's cables there, there's gears. Check out the gears. Whoa, do you see those gears? It's spinning around. And that is what is providing all its strength and power for these hooks right there to tow the tube and the person to the top of the hill. All right, let's hook one up and then we'll watch the inner tube go. All right, I have a game to play. Let's count how many tubes we see, all right? One. Two. Three. Four tubes. All righty, good job. We just counted to four together. Now, I have another game. This one's pretty simple. What shape is this inner tube? Hmm, it's not a square. Is it a triangle? No, it's the same shape as a tire. Yeah, it's a circle. Good job. Hey, check it out. Look at what this is. This is a black rubber mat. It's really heavy. Ugh. And this is a gray carpet. Yeah, just like maybe carpet that you might have at home. Yeah, these mats and carpets are placed on the inner tube path to help slow you down. Because if not, maybe you'd go too fast and go off a big jump. <laughs> All right, here I go. Whoa! How fast I went! That was awesome! <laughs> Whoa! Check it out! What a cool machine this is! The great thing about ski hills are they have really cool machines to maintain the land! Whoa! Check it out! Wow! Do you see this? Yeah! This is a track! Yeah! This vehicle has tracks! Interesting. Most vehicles have wheels and tires, but not this one. This one has tracks, so then it can dig into the snow and then it won't slip and slide. <laughs> Let's check it out. Woo! Oh, that's backwards. Yeah.
Whoa, check it out. Do you see what I'm doing? Yeah, I'm riding a bike. Isn't this weird? I'm riding a bike on snow? Yeah, normally you ride a bike on concrete and dirt and asphalt, but check this out. Do you see this bike's tires? Yeah, they're so big and wide. Whoa, that is way wider than a normal bike tire. Yeah, these tires are called fat tires. So then they can grip more snow. So then you don't slip and slide. Wow, this bike has some good tread. Let's roll. is snow <laughs> and it's really cold now that it's so cold outside put on your hats and gloves and sip some nice warm cocoa from a mug oh excuse me <laughs> now that it's snowing outside everyone's having fun let's take the snowboard out for been so much fun playing in the snow with you today. Wow, I sure do love the seasons. Yep, and winter time is such a great time of the year. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Blippi. Good job. All right, see you again. Bye-bye. See what's behind me? Yeah, a bunch of logs. Whoa! Today I'm at the Port of Olympia in Olympia, Washington. And these logs are chopped down, exported to different countries, so then they can build houses. <laughs> but Washington State is really cool because for every one tree that gets chopped down, the companies here have to plant at least three new trees. <laughs> So, I think we should explore the port. But first, I need some safety equipment. 
I love being safe. All right, let's go explore the port. Ha <laughs> ha! Whoa! Do you see that? That is a crane, and it's so big! I love cranes because they can grab things from the ground and lift them really high up in the air! Yeah, really heavy things. <laughs> I'm gonna go explore this crane. Whoa! Check it out! These are the crane's wheels and tires. Yeah, the tires are black, and the wheels are the color blue. <laughs> Did you also notice how they're too wide? Yeah, one, two. Yeah, it's not just one, it's two. <laughs> hey, I have an idea. Why don't we count all of these wheels and tires? All right, I'll start over here. Okay, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight wheels and tires. But wait a second. Remember how I said they're too wide? Okay, so we have eight times two. Eight times two. That's 16. <laughs> Good job. But wait a second. We're only on one side. So it has a whole other set on the other side. So here we go. 16 times two. <gasps> That's really hard. Let's see, 16 times two. <gasps> 32 wheels and tires! Whoa! Good job! Oh, do you see that? There's actually a worker right here. Let's go talk to him. Hello. Hey, hey Blippi. Hey, who are you? I'm Frank. Oh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. What do you do here? Uh, I maintain equipment on the marine terminal and today we're looking at the Gotwald Mobile Harbor Crane. Whoa, a crane? That's so cool. Can we go up? Heck yes, All let's right. go. Let's go, come on. sit down in the chair. <laughs> this is where the operator sits. Whoa! Look at how high we are! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! This is so cool! So, we're about 90 feet in the air, roughly. That's about 30 yards, or meters. <laughs> Whoa! And do you see that those hooks right there? They're used to grab things. This can grab anything from logs, to boats, to pallets, to... Yeah, so many things! Whoa, and come check this out! Whoa! Look at those big cables! This is the hoist room. Whoa! They're so big! Look! Ooh, and this room is the electrical room. Whoa, look at all these. Whoa. Hey, look, there's another worker. <laughs> Looks like he's just working. Hey. <laughs> cool. All right, let's get out of this place. Whoa, now we're going into the engine room. Whoa, look at how big this engine is. <laughs> Frank, how big is this engine? It's so big, it's got 12 cylinders, and it's a twin turbo Cummins diesel. Whoa! That is a big, powerful engine. Whoa! Look at how big that hook is! <laughs> oh, watch out, it's swinging! Whoa, did you see how big that is? Wow! That's what they 
use to pick up really heavy things. Whoa! <laughs> All right! <laughs> This is a massive ship. Yeah, this vessel is the vessel that they load all these logs onto. And then it goes out into the ocean and transports and delivers the logs. <laughs> Whoa, hey, what does this sign say? Restricted area, authorized personnel only. <laughs> That's you and I, let's go. Whoa. Those are some big logs, and there's so many of them. I think you and I should count them. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, ten thousand four hundred and forty-four, ten thousand four hundred and forty-five, ten thousand four hundred and forty-six, ten thousand. Oh no! I lost track. <laughs> Okay, well, anywho, I think we should let all the log stackers get back to work. So we should probably get out of here and then they'll stack some more logs on the ship. <laughs> all right, see ya. Whoa, this is a small boat. <laughs> Whoa, this is a medium sized boat. Whoa, this is a big boat. <laughs> and what it also has is this travel lift. This travel lift goes right over the water, drops these belts down to the water, and then it can lift up a boat. Or it could do the opposite, where it can hoist a boat, one of those park boats over there, over the water and then drop it down. But hey, check these out. These are some massive belts. They are so strong. Actually, this thing can lift up about the weight of seven school buses. <laughs> that is so much weight. Okay, let's uh, get out of their way so then they can lift up a boat. This is gonna be cool. Do you see what's happening? Yeah, those belts are lowering down to the water. And then they're gonna submerge themselves in the water. And that's when the boat is gonna go on top of the belts. And then the belts will lift the boat and then transport it to the land. Do you see what they're doing? They're using these poles to pull in the boat, nice and slow, so then it doesn't ram up against the dock. Yeah, because this might not be their boat, so they have to be very nice and delicate with it. Just like when you're borrowing someone else's toy, you want to make sure that you treat that toy with a lot of respect. Hmm? Whoa! Did you see how they just lifted the boat? Yeah, now it's off of the water. Now the tires are gonna roll on the concrete and then bring it back to land. Woohoo! That was awesome! Now it's time to scrape. Looks like a lot of barnacles and even some seaweed growth. Whoa! <laughs> that looks yummy, but not for me. <laughs> Whoa! 
Whoa. All right, nice and clean. Yeah. Well, I should probably get going now because there's a lot more boats to explore. Yeah, check it out. There's so many. Well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I, -P -P -I. Blippi. Good job. All right, see you again. Bye-bye. Hey, look at what it is. Whoa, it's a giant red truck and it's really dirty. Today, we are going to wash and get it squeaky clean. <laughs> Come on. Whoa, look at all this dirt. Ew, it's really dirty. But before we wash the truck, I think we should get it a little bit more dirty. <laughs> look. Oh, flower. <gasps> Whoa! Whoa! Yeah! Look at how dirty we're making the truck! Okay, and a little bit more on the bed back here. Look at this giant scoop. <laughs> okay, one last one. Ready? I'm gonna throw it from really far away. Let's go back a little, okay? Bums away! <laughs> Okay, I think that's enough flour. Okay, let's see. I think we should get it a little bit more dirty. Now I have the perfect thing. Oh, yeah. Hot sauce. I love hot sauce. <laughs> let's put a little hot sauce on the truck. But first, since I like it. <laughs> Ketchup and mustard. Okay. Whoa, that was really hot. Okay, ketchup and mustard. Come on. Here we go. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, let's get some on the tire. <laughs> okay, let's do, oh, I have an idea. Let's take the yellow mustard and let's do a smiley face. Ready? <laughs> it's a smiley face. Okay, let's take the red ketchup, stay right there, and we'll make a red frown face. Okay, ready? much fun. Okay, we need to get some coins so we can wash the truck now. Five dollars. Okay, let's put it in the slot. Listen. Yeah. Oh, jackpot. Whoa. Okay, got the money. Here, this is the dial. High pressure rinse, high pressure uh, wax, high pressure rinse. Okay, okay. We need more coins so we can put it in there. There we go. All right. Got enough right here. Okay, are you ready? Whoa. Whoa, okay, let's go to the other side. Whoa, 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 it's like a 
water gun. Really powerful. Ready? Whoa! Whoa! Yeah! Whoa! It's getting really clean! Whoa! It's almost all off! Hey! Watch out! Don't get wet! No! Stay over here! Whoa! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go put this back. You stay right here, and then we'll wash it with our hands, okay? Stay right here. With that water gun, we got it pretty clean, but we need to get it a little bit more clean with our hands. <laughs> okay, look. Okay, we got a bucket and we have some soap. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, green soap. Okay, and then, ooh, Whoa. here's some water. Whoa. Whoa! Yeah! Whoa! Okay. And our scrubbing items, like this! A towel! Perfect! Look! Ketchup and mustard! <laughs> okay, put that in there. Ooh! This scrubby is for the tires and the wheels. And this one, whoa! Whoa! This one's for the top, where it's hard to reach. We'll do this one later. Okay, but first, okay, come on. Okay, oh, oh, that bucket of water is so heavy. Okay, whoa. Okay, here we go. Take the rag and start to wash it like this. Okay, get a little bit more soap on it. Look at this, come on. Look how soapy the water is. Wow, okay. Let's go like this. Uh, yeah, Ooh. yeah. We gotta clean all of the yellow and the red off because there's a lot of ketchup and mustard. Ooh, there's some more right here. Watch this, ready? <laughs> okay, there we go, okay. Um, ooh, come back to the back. Whoa, whoa, this needs some cleaning. Let's take the scrubby. Scrub, 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 scrub. <laughs> I like cleaning trucks and cars. Scrub, 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 scrub. Spray it one more time. But first, oh, remember the really high one? Let's go get it. Okay. Oh, yeah. Look at that sponge. <laughs> Put it in the soapy water. And, whoa, let's take it to the top. Whoa, 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 whoa. I think we knocked everything loose. So, last thing we gotta do is spray it down one last time. Whoa! Okay, we need to spray the truck down one last time. Whoa, okay. Here we go! Whoa! Whoa! 
truck is really clean, I wanted to say, hey, make sure you don't get any grown-up's vehicle dirty on purpose like we did. We only did that for this video because we needed the truck a little bit more dirty. <laughs> well, it was so much fun washing this big red truck with you. Ah! Okay, bye-bye. Come on, everyone. Let's make money. Learn about it'll make you want to shout Whippy!